We're on the campus of the University of British Columbia. I know it looks like a very elegant, pristine white wall gallery, but we think of it as a laboratory, even a factory, or, or like a theater space. It's always transforming. There's certainly a younger group of people who work in all kinds of different media who are now also coming to prominence. I'm thinking of people like Brian Youngen or Jeffrey Farmer who are showing in Europe. There's an art history department here and in September we show the graduating MFA students, many of whom have gone on to become well-known artists. Well, we wanted to see Vancouver. This is our first experience and heard how lovely it was and clean and beautiful and kind of wanted to check out the art scene. A person coming to Vancouver interested in contemporary art would, would have, you know, a dozen or more places to go to. It would take them a couple of days to see everything. I've chosen to have my art gallery, my, my home, is to showcase the work of primarily Canadian artists in all media. When clients come to my home, my gallery, they're much more relaxed. They can see the work in context and they can connect with the person behind the work. Clients in my bathroom, for instance, that are looking at artwork and they're chatting, they're with a glass of wine in their hand and, and you know, they're, they're laughing because they don't, they don't believe there's so much work, artwork in their bathroom. Angie Ohampel is one of our artists that I'm featuring for the newest Mr. Uh, show. Then she's come to the gallery on a number of occasions just to paint in my garden. It's, it's a unique um, experience for people to see the artists actually working in, in the garden. If she sent uh, an artist and a customer here, sometimes when they meet together, they understand the artwork better. I think it's, it's a great uh, atmosphere. 